the fifth fine Ampli Rocket, cuz Ampli Rocket, you know, and it's got RGB. All right, yes, people, Tech Jamo out here with the Fifth Fine Ampli Rocket. Big shout out to the guys at Fifth Fine for sending me bare different microphones for review. Now, for the box patrol out there, let me just let you guys read what's on the box. Feel free to pause the video to read some of that stuff there. There you go, we got some stuff there as well. And some stuff there, I think I already showed you this part. Anyway, let's get this thing unboxed. Oh, oh boy, this one took a bit of a while to come still. All right, little Fifine thing going on there. You can pause if you want to read that. Um, what is this? User guide. I love the little compartments. Can you guys see that? We've got, <laughs> we got these little compartments going on. Let's go for this one. Okay. So we've got the little shock mount and it's got these flares on it. Can you guys see that? It's got these plastic flares um, that give it the kind of rocket feel. Yeah, I like those still. I like those. <laughs> this side up. Okay, let me put that to the side for now. Go for this one next. Okay, and this is the microphone itself. Look how little and cute that is. I thought it was a big boy massive thing. Now, what have we got on the bottom? On the bottom, we've got a USB-C port. And it looks... I'm wondering if this is a touch capacitive mute button. It looks too fishy fam like something must be going on there surely but no gain dial and nothing else going on on there so yeah we'll just put that to the side for now okay just a little table clamp for the microphone stand okay got some usb cable so we've got usb c to usb a cable right here it says for shock mount this one is okay so this one's for the shock mount then we've got a usb c for usb a again however this one says it's for the microphone this, I'm assuming, must be the boom arm. Yeah, yeah, love to see it. Got a little boom arm here. Um, looks quite basic in construction, about what I'd expect, to be honest. Nothing special with it, but you don't need anything special with a boom arm. It just needs to work, so this should all be good. Anyway, let's get this set up and um, give it a little microphone test. All right, so we're all plugged in with the Ampli Rocket from Fifine. Right now, though, you're listening to my voice on the Elgato Wave 3. My go-to all day, every day, for every stream. But, yo, this Ampli Rocket, I can't lie, it's looking sexy, fam. Like, what is all this RGB? Man's frames per second is going to be hitting the roof, cuz. Fam, anyway, look, do you know what? You know what to do already. Man has got the Ampli Rocket running through Wavelink software. Um, I'm just gonna mute the Elgato Wave 3 and unmute the Ampli Rocket. I don't know what the pickup pattern is of the Ampli Rocket. Um, I'm assuming I have to have the mute button facing me or maybe it's just the omnidirectional thing. I don't know, but yeah, let's see what it sounds like and um, yeah, see if it's any good. All right, people, them. So you're listening to me. Hopefully you are. Yeah, you're listening to me through the Ampli Rocket from Fifine. Done know the done know. Okay. Now, there's no pop filter on it. So those plosives are going to be pesky and petulant. Yo, fam, I'm just using words that begin with P. Um, Peter, Piper, picked a pail of pickled peppers. <laughs> But yeah, um, all that, all that good stuff. Um, I wonder how good this will sound. Um, just for the sake of it, in case it does have any effect, let me turn the microphone away from me. So I've just rotated it 180 degrees so that the mute button is now facing in the opposite direction. Um, just to see whether that has any bearing on the pickup pattern. I know if it was cardioid, I would be sounding a lot muffled right now. Um, but from what I can see on the the volume kind of thing it looks kind of about the same so i don't know anyway um yeah comes with a little shock mount with rgb you actually need to plug a cable into the shock mount to power the shock mount and then a separate cable into the microphone to you know data transfer and power the microphone itself um what i also like is that when you put it on mute you can see this little red button pops up on the Fifine microphone. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We're back on the way free, by the way. Um, do you know what? Let's do a couple more tests. 
All right, so background noise test with the Elgato Wave 3. I'm going to be quiet right now. All right, now background noise test with the Ampli Rocket from Fifine. I'm going to be quiet right now. Okay, um, little background keyboard test with the Elgato Wave 3. And siren outside as well, we love to see it. And background noise keyboard test with the Ampli Rocket. Cool, all right, let me put them in the booth and see what they sound like. All right, now we're back with the Ampli Rocket. That's what you're listening to my voice on right now. I've had a listen between the Wave 3 and the Ampli Rocket. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad at the Ampli Rocket. It does sound really good. It wasn't clipping at all. Um, I think one of the reasons it wasn't clipping is that the microphone gain seemed to be a lot lower than was, well, than what was coming out of the Elgato Wave 3. And that's not an issue in post because obviously you can just turn things up and turn things down. However, the issue stems from the fact that this Ampli Rocket does not have the holy trinity of switches and buttons that I feel every microphone should have. Every microphone should have a little headphone jack where you can monitor the sound directly that's coming out of the microphone every microphone has the mute switch it has the mute switch that's cool but then every microphone should also have a little volume dial so you can turn up the gain of the microphone on the fly or turn down the gain of the microphone on the fly how many times have you been streaming when people are like yo we can't hear you you're like oh okay Zoop! you just turn up the thing in it but when you don't have the buttons or the controls on the microphone itself it now means i have to come out my game go into settings on windows then find the microphone that i want to turn up go into that and then manually turn it up and then go back into my game it just it's just not fluid <laughs> yeah and it's a very simple thing just put a volume dial gain um controls on the microphone itself and we're good to go i've even got cheap microphones with volume gain controls on there so you can just change it on the fly um, apart from that though it does sound really good it does sound really good here here comes the siren i wonder how well you guys can hear this siren in the background oh it's gone now anyway um and i like the fact that it comes with everything you need it comes with a big boy boom arm yeah big boy boom arm shock mount um rgb shock mount nonetheless and yeah i think the only thing it doesn't come with is a pop filter for those plosives i did do a test about that let me do a little test peter piper picked a pail of pickled peppers peter piper picked a pail of pickled peppers peter piper picked a pail of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked a pail of Peter Pick. I don't even know. I don't even know how the shit go. Anyway, guys, Ampli game, Ampli Rocket from Fifth Line. You're done know the done know. I'm out.